Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome to the channel. So in today's video, we're going to be doing a six week update since we first installed the Cerakote uh, ceramic coating. This is the version two. I've made an installation video, so feel free to check this on my channel as well. So this is going to be the first wash and the first kind of update and kind of see what we get since we installed uh, the ceramic coating. Now, as you see here, the vehicle has been through a couple of rainstorms here, so it is pretty dirty. So we're going to do a wash and then we're going to do a decontamination and then kind of see um, how the coating is holding up. So for the first uh, step of the washing process, I'm going to be using Built Hamburg Touchless at a 5% uh, PIR, which is roughly 1.6 ounces to 32 ounces of water. So we'll let that soak for a couple of minutes. Okay, good news so far. We see a lot of water repellency, a lot of beating happening. So we can see clearly that the coating is still intact. But um, when we look at self-cleaning properties, um, I can't really say that um, it's pulling a lot off. There's a lot of light contamination uh, caked on here. So, um, so far I can't really say that it's doing a great job with the self-cleaning properties for being a ceramic coating. All right, the next step now is going to be a rinse this wash. And I'm going to just pre-spray the panel and then do a contact wash. All right, obviously with a contact wash here with ONR, we're able to get rid of the contamination. So the door now does look clean. So let's give it a quick rinse here and kind of see the water behavior now. So let's go ahead now and do a decon. And for this, we're gonna be using the DIY detail iron remover in combination with a perforated uh, synthetic clay towel. It's gonna rinse off. Give you a close up here. So I had the Ego leaf blower at the low setting and it just pretty much repelled the water pretty nice. Let's give it a little hand dry here with a towel just to kind of see how slick it feels. Just like I mentioned uh, in my initial application video, it doesn't feel the slickest and that hasn't changed since. So it, you, you obviously do feel uh, the panel is a lot slicker comparing a panel, for example, here that doesn't have any form of protection. It's not as tacky. However, it doesn't really glide. All right, let's just head to the back here now. Now, if you remember, the right side of the trunk was ceramic coated with the Cerakote V2. And then I did a separate video where I added to the left side the Cerakote Rapid Sealant. I've done a video, feel free to check it out on my channel. 
So we're just gonna compare both sides here and just kind of see how they do six weeks later. So as we see the initial rinse off here, obviously you see a huge difference in terms of consistency. The Cerakote V2 has really nice beads here. I can give you a close up here. So as we see, obviously the ceramic coating is still holding up really nice. And then over here where we had the Cerakote Rapid Sealant, we do see obviously it is still there, but the water beads are not as consistent and tight as it would be on the ceramic coating. So let's go ahead and do the same thing we did at the passenger door. We're gonna pre-spray everything with built hamber touchless, let it kind of soak for a couple minutes, and then we're gonna go in with a rinseless wash and wash the trunk off. And you can already see the water sheeting on the rapid ceramic sealant side, whereas on the ceramic coating, it's staying consistent still. We see that it doesn't have any impact on the ceramic coating. Beating action is fantastic here. Water repellency is fantastic. And it looks like here the cleaning was a lot better than the door side. I don't see any leftover contamination like we did on the door. So that's very interesting. So let's go ahead now and just uh, contact wash it with a rinseless wash. And I'm just gonna pre-spray here before the contact wash. Again, no impact on this side, uh, slow sheeting happening on the ceramic sealant side. All right, let's go ahead and do a decon again with the air remover and the clay towel. All right, so on this side, we did see a lot of uh, impact here. So it did slow down. There's a lot of sheeting. So it doesn't look like it held up too good for uh, the rapid ceramic sealant, but the V2 uh, obviously is staying consistent and great water repellency, great water beading, uh, really good cleaning. And um, it looks like it's still intact. It hasn't been phased at all. So let's go ahead and dry it now. <laughs> We see the there's nothing left on the hood in terms of any of their water but on this side we have some left over and let's give it a nice little wipe down just to see how the panel feels and again like I mentioned it's not the slickest but you do feel that there is something on the surface so Gloss is still really nice. Hard to see in the garage right now, but uh, it does look really nice and deep in person. And as we see here on the side, on the passenger door, it's pretty nice and glossy. So it's safe to say that uh, six weeks in, the Cerakote V2 is holding up pretty good. We did a basic wash and a decon, and it didn't seem to be phased by any of those chemicals. Uh, either from the front passenger door or the trunk. Water repellency was great. The water behavior is still amazing. The drying process, it repels water really fast. It feels somewhat slick, not the slickest, but it feels like it's okay. And so our next follow-up here, I think is gonna be uh, three months, six months in a year. Uh, I don't think 
it's necessary to do monthly updates on ceramic coatings. So let's just kind of do long term and kind of see uh, how it's holding up within that year. And having said that, guys, we're going to end the video here. Thank you for watching, and we will talk to you on the next one. Take care.